All right, same as before, read it. This time I'm going to uh, define the variables, write up the linear programming problem, and then create the initial simplex tableau. So less pauses than before. Here's one of them. Bam! All right, lots of goodness there. So the variables represent the number of servings of each type of Reese's goodness. And we're trying to maximize protein. So the objective function is all about the protein. Yes, I said protein, not protein. It's funnier. And then you have restrictions on fat and sugar. All right. Uh, most negative number is the negative four. And the smallest ratio is, oh, no, I'm scrolling in my notes because I don't want to do this in my head. Smallest ratio would be the 292 over 12. So that 12 is your pivot element. Uh, oops, let me circle that. Bink. If you don't know how to find the pivot element, uh, go to class, number one. Number two, watch some previous videos. Or number three, read the book. I actually do all three because it's fun. All right, pivot like you've never pivoted before, which hopefully by this time in this section, you've done so much and you long for more. All right, one pivot complete. This is our matrix. Um, we do have at least one more pivot because there's a negative in the objective function row. It turns out the next pivot element is the, uh, the one in the X2 column. Um, 21 firsts is smaller than 73 thirds over 5 sixths. Uh, so a couple more steps there, and this will actually be the last pivot, so that's good news. So pivot, and then think about the interpretation, because uh, remember these are word problems, so you need to interpret your answer. Hooray! No more negatives in the objective function row, so we're done. So let's interpret our answer. Remember, let's read across. I have to get my arrows. I'm going to change the color. How about, I don't know what this color is. I think a pumpkin. So x1 equaling 6 means that Kid Mike should consume 6 servings of a Reese's Big Cup. That makes sense. x2 equals 22 means he should consume 22 servings of the Reese's Peanut Butter Egg, or Egg, however you want to pronounce that. Notice we have an x3 in our original problem but x3 is not basic, which means x3 must be zero. So he should consume zero Reese's Christmas trees. So that's part of your interpretation. So six big cups, 22 peanut butter eggs, and zero Christmas trees. And the maximum protein he will consume, well, that's a fraction, 494 over five, as a decimal, which would be better because it makes more sense, it would be 98.8 grams. So he will consume 98.8 grams.